My name's Callie Spooner, I'm an artist from London. Um, I'm here on the New York High Line and I'm going to be doing a performance here in 10 minutes which is called It's About You. The piece is um, a series of uh, three projections that are something like a pseudo advertisement for some kind of a random product called It's About You. The projections have been projected on the High Line for, um, the past week. Last night and tonight, the projections become activated by three opera singers who deliver the language of the advertisements as a, a, a kind of an opera libretto. So they're sort of singing at these screens. The Roman Empire to point The project's exploring um, different ideas around the extraction of personal data into the public sphere. It begins from the dance, which is taken from the voice of an employee who is being coerced to change his speech and behaviour so he can become the face of a corporation's advertising campaign by disclosing his personal stories, which we then I would then work with on with Adam to turn into a dance. This is kind of runs parallel to the language that's happening on the screens, which is taken from a series of Twitter feeds of different members of the public tweeting hashtag PRISM to complain about the NSA surveillance programme, which is obviously called PRISM, to kind of contest these ideas around the extrapolation and kind of harnessing of private data and information into the public realm taken by the NSA but the Twitter feeds get muddled up with another hashtag, which is, well, the same hashtag, hashtag PRISM, but which also comes to be used for Katy Perry's summer album from 2013 of the same name. So the libretto becomes this extremely messed up collection of tweets which are you know partly these political positionings on um, how to kind of reclaim your privacy and partly ecstatic fans being really excited about Katy Perry so The, the opera singers have just been instructed to kind of act in a way that they're sort of like in love with the screens or that they're sort of having a really bad breakup with the screens. And I was kind of interested in, yeah, in that idea of this sort of, these social media feeds as these extremely dramatic spaces where sort of these private lives and desires are played out dramatically in this very public space. Oh,